Glory be to God. This is Prophet Joel of the CSJ Maranatha Ministry. I want to welcome all the viewers that you're about to watch this program of the message that you're about to listen to. I thank God for this opportunity and for this platform that the Lord has made available for me to share with you the word of the living God. And I believe this word that you're about to listen will transform and change your life for good. And uh, I invite you to invite someone also to listen to you this word of God because it's life changing. Because God is about to do something glorious into your life. And I believe your life will never be the same again. So tune in and the Lord shall bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Praise God. Oh, look at your neighbor. Say, do you have a Bible like me? Ask your neighbor, do you have a Bible? Or do you have a phone? If that neighbor has a Bible, say you are my true neighbor. If that neighbor has a phone, say, I think I made a mistake. I sat in the wrong place. Now I'm serious. <laughs> Is that neighbor having a Bible? They don't. They don't, eh? I want a Biblia. Next time we should lay hands on them. Wameomba. If they don't carry a Bible with them. Kama wamekopa hata sio yao. Here we believe in the word of God. Tunaamini katika neno la Bwana. Not on carrying the phone only. Sio kubeba simu. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the word of God is life to me. The word of God is life to me. I am born of the word. I am born of the word. Made of the word. Made of the word. And functioning in the word. And functioning in the word. For the word of God says. For the word of God says. Whatsoever. Whatsoever. Is born of God. Is born of God. Overcome the word. Overcome the word. Therefore I decree. Therefore I decree. And declare. And I declare. This morning. This morning. That I'm not born of the flesh. That I'm not born of the flesh. I'm not born of the will of man. I'm not born of the will of man. But I'm born of the word of God. I am born of the word of God. Therefore victory is mine. Therefore victory is mine. And I'm walking out of this place today. I am walking out of this place today. With my victory, with my victory over the forces of hell, over the forces of hell in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done in Jesus' name. It's done in Jesus' name. Now, you may open. You may open that Bible. Oh, that phone. Uh, in the book of Isaiah 45. Katika kitabu cha Nabi Isaiah 45 Chapter 45 verse 18 If you are there just shout a big amen Thank you so let's read it from verse 18. One, two, two, let's go. And the earth, the south. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. Waters. Asante baba kwa kuheshimu neno lako. Utukufu wote ukurejee. Kwa jina tukufu la Yesu. Amen. Pigem to salute ukiketi. You know, there are many people who just speak uh, empty words. And their words sometimes never come to pass. Some of them, some of them they, they declare, but the declaration does not come to pass. But it is amazing that from today, God is empowering your tongue. God say. He created the heavens. 
Bwana Mungu akasema aliziumba bingu and he formed the earth. Tena akazifanya dunia. So God created the heavens. Aliumba bingu Bwana Mungu but he formed the earth. Lakini dunia akaifanya. So we are talking about one earth. Kwa hivyo tunaongea kuhusu kitu kimoja. One earth. Dunia moja. But plenty of heavens. Lakini bingu zikawa mingi. Because God created the heavens. Maana Bwana Mungu aliziumba bingu and formed the earth. Na akafanya dunia. So the heaven was created. Kwa hivyo bingu iliumbwa. But lakini the earth was formed. Dunia ikatengezwa. What is formed? Ile ambacho kimetengezwa. It is a photocopy of what was created. Ni kinafuata kile ambacho kilichoundwa. Right? Whatever that is formed is simply a photocopy of what was created. Ichapili kile ambacho kimefanywa kwa kile kilichoundwa. So God formed the earth. So in another word the earth is a photocopy of the real things which was created. Dunia basi ni mwigo wa kile ambacho kiliumbwa. And the real things that was created is the heaven. Na kile ambacho kiliumbwa basi ni bingu. So in another word the earth is simply a photocopy. Kwa hivyo dunia ni mwigo. It's not the real thing. Sio cha kweli. No you think the earth is the real thing. The re- actually the earth is not the real thing. Dunia hii ni mwigo tu. The earth is a photocopy. Dunia ni mwigo of the real things that has taken place in the heaven. Wa kile ambacho kilifanyika duniani. That's why I say whatever you say in the earth that is real it is not real. Chochote ambacho unaona duniani cha kweli sio cha kweli. That's why people say life is a dream. No it's not a dream but the earth is is I mean the real things is in the heaven. Kitu cha kweli basi katika bingu you know where i'm going utajua mahali naelekea leo so the earth is a photocopy of that which god kwa hivyo dunia ni mwigo wa kile ambacho mungu created aliumba for example we have china which copy everything that is original tuna china ambao inaiga kila kitu and that's what makes them to be china ndio maana wao ni wa china tu they can copy anything and makes it like the things but it's not they think wanaweza iga hata mchele utakuta lakini si kweli that is the earth for you basi hiyo ni dunia kwako haleluya bwana sifiwe so god made the earth kwa hivyo bwana mungu akaifanya but he created the heaven lakini akaziumba that's why whomsoever sees heaven he say heaven is a beautiful place anasema bingu ni mahali pazuri heaven is a wonderful place more than the earth bingu ni kuzuri kuliko duniani so it is true that the earth ni ya kwamba dunia is a photocopy ni muigo and you and I you can agree that photocopy is not the real things and it's not nice as the real thing na kitu cha kuiga sio cha kweli kinakata bandia that's why there is death on earth ndio maana kuna kifo duniani but there is no death in the heaven lakini hakuna kifo binguni you see that yes, there is darkness on the earth kuna giza duniani but there is no darkness in the heaven lakini hakuna giza binguni praise the lord bwana sifiwe are you seeing that yes, sir. so the real things is where kitu cha kweli kipo hapa in the heaven iko katika bingu so when god created the heaven he did not create one but he created the heavens aliumba bingu mingi so the first heaven second Kwanza. heaven so there was is there's quite a lot of heaven hivyo ni bingu ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu god is a creator mungu ni muumbaji and he found pleasure in creating and building na yeye afurahia katika ujenzi na uumbaji and if you are made in the likeness of god from today you'll find pleasure on buildings and buying and creating kuanzia leo nakutangazia uende ukajenge na kuumba Amen. So as a Christian you have to have the likeness of God. His joy is simply to see a space and build in that space. Filling the space. Taking over the space. By his creation power. And the same anointing of creations is in your life to every believer kwa kila aaminie hmm. interesting so since i created the heaven says the lord kwa hivyo kwa sababu niliumba bingu asema bwana i filled it up basi nikaijaza don't miss this out usikose nifuate he created the heaven and he filled the, uh, the heaven aliposiumba bingu akazijaza and when he made the earth na wakati alitengeza dunia he made sure also the earth to be filled akahakikisha dunia ikajaa mm, mm, mm. there is no place 
Hakuna mahali popote. That God creates. Ambacho Mungu anaumba. For it to remain empty. Ili ya kwamba ijaye ikiwa utupu. Amen. I'm going somewhere. Because today if you get it there is a miracle that will take place. Leo ukipata kuna mujiza utakutendekea. I receive. You will take control over material things. Utatawala vitu vya kiasili. You look at any material things in your eyes you say I owe you. Utaona vitu hapa duniani ukasema wewe ni wa kwangu. You are mine. Wewe ni wa kwangu. Because it is impossible for a Christian to struggle over material things. Haiwezekani mkristo uendelee kuteseka kwa vitu vya dunia. Material things is submissive to whomsoever or whatsoever is spiritual. Vitu vya dunia vinainamia aliye wa kiroho. Whatever that is material is submissive to what is spiritual. Remember last Sunday what I taught you. So it is impossible for a Christian to struggle over a material thing. Or even to spend time for two hours in praying for a material thing. Because it is so low compared to what you carry with you. Are you seeing that? Yes, sir. It is too low compared to the greatness that you carry. For example, it's like you are making God struggle eh, to buy a house. Or you are making God struggle to get a land of half a acre. How could that be possible? It is impossible. Because the earth is his. And his dominion is over the earth. And he gave that authority over men. So men should not struggle over material things. Even as I speak, dominion is coming over you. By your mouth you shall be justified. So by the authority of God within you Material things must be submissive. You look at a job you want, it must be submissive to you. You look at in an area space, it must be submissive to you. Oh, you look at any place, it must be submissive to you. Okay. Listen, there is nothing normal about Christian. I'm talking about true Christian. There is nothing normal about a true Christian. Everything about a true Christian is abnormal. Because he moves from the flesh realm into the supernatural realm. You got to understand this. You got to grab it by any strength of the loving God within you. Don't miss it. So there is nothing for a true Christian to be normal. Everything has to be abnormal. How you walk, how you gain your money, how you buy your things, how you speak to people, how you sleep, how you wake up, the hours that you sleep, everything must be abnormal. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about a resurrected man coming and dwelling again in the body. He will no longer be normal. You can't be normal. You can't talk normally. No, you can't. Because you become a spirit. Say I'm a spirit. I am a spirit. I'm a spirit. I'm a spirit. Dwelling in the body. Dwelling in the body. Having, having an experience. An experience in the earth. In the earth. Amen. Say it again. I'm a spirit. I'm a spirit. Dwelling in the body. Dwelling in the body. Having an experience. Having an experience in the earth. In the earth. It's not the opposite. That you are having an experience in the spiritual realm. But actually you are having an experience in the fleshly realm. Everything is new. Fleshly realm. How could it be possible? For such a gentleman like you. Such a beautiful woman like you. 
You went to school. You have studied for almost like 20 years. And you went to masters and degrees. But when we look at you, there is no sense of authority. It is an error. It is a mistake. Authority must be seen. Authority must be revealed. And authority is manifested by what you occupy. How far do you occupy? How big? have you occupied spirituality is not just when you close yourself in the room spirituality is not when you pray for two hours a day but spirituality is the authority and the dominion that you manifest in the earth among the living spirituality is manifested by the authority that you carry over the nations over the cities over material things and you gain more strength you expand when you become more spiritual the same way you can see people own territory on the earth if I take you in the spiritual realm you will see also people own territories why? Because what you conquer in the realm of the spirit, you conquer in the earthly realm. So before God to create what is in the earthly realm, he had to create first in the spiritual realm. Because if I can succeed to create in the spiritual realm, then the earthly realm will just be easy. I will make, 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 I will make. So whatever I can create, in the spiritual realm and in the earthly realm it will be easy it will bow it will give way to me so God began building in the heaven and when he finished building in the heaven he copycats and he simply dropped it in the earth now, ladies and gentlemen, God cannot create anything that is empty. But He creates in order for that things to be filled. God did not create you for you to live an empty life. He created your life for you to occupy your purpose. Oh, I, I'm aware there are people who shift destiny of people whereby they can take your destiny and they make your destiny to be of so and so who has died I am understanding that by the name that you can receive it can be a life of someone else that you are living why that man has authority over your destiny because of the connection of name name is powerful that's why when God called Adam he knew that that name has power when he called Jesus he knew that name is the savior you become in life what you are named and what you are named you dominate what you name in life you dominate you can never never dominate what you have never named Oh God. Mm. So the reason Adam dominated over the animals because he is the one who named the animals. Hey, Jesus. Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I bound. I bind every veil. Everything of stagnation, of stagnation in my mind in my life in my spirit in my spirit in my heart in my heart from not the word of God not to enter me for the word of God not to enter me I declare I declare my spirit my spirit be free 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 in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oh so whatever I name, I dominate. So if I can name my bank account, account I dominate it. All right. 
If I can name Nikita, my house, nyumba yangu, I dominate it. Now this is the thing. Sasa hii ndio kitu kidogo ni Why do they give title deeds when you buy a house or a land? Kwa nini wanapia na vieti vya shamba? With your name. Na jina lako. Not with your money. Sio pesa yako. With your name. Na jina lako. Not with the name of your children. Sio jina watoto. With your name. Jina lako. Why? Name carry Power. and ascend here by divine authority any name that you occupy any name that you carry that has been dominating you in the dark kingdom I change your name in the name of Jesus I change your name in the name of Jesus I change your name I receive it are you realizing that Abraham Abraham was barren because of his name Sarah, Sarah was barren because of his name ladies and gentlemen the barrenness you are encountering in your life it's not just your face but it's coming from the person who named you that person who named you has authority over you that person who named your money who named your bank account who named your marriage has power over your things until you take control over the space that whomsoever took before you I'm talking about today not tomorrow I'm talking about now until Hey my God, you take authority. You said enough is enough. My name is getting changed. My name, my name is getting transformed. I used to be barren. I used to be barren. But now I'm fruitful. I used to be crippled. I used to be But now I'm going to walk. My name is no longer crippled. My name is no longer barren. My name is no longer jobless. My name is no longer. My name is no longer. My name is no longer. The crying woman or the crying man. Because what you name, you dominate. The Bible said, took Abraham outside. Abraham and he said, but can you count the stars? And he said, I know each name of the stars. I'm talking about trillions of stars. And God Almighty knows them by name. He doesn't miss even one. Your name is Peter. Yes. Your name is Paul. Yes. Your name is John. Yes. Each star has a name. Because the one who gave it a name is God Almighty. Therefore, he has authority over the stars. I don't know what you named in your life. I just don't know. The reason why you are struggling Oh my God. In your marriage, in your finances, you have not given a name to your finances. A dog is submissive to his master because of a name. <laughs> That's why I looked at Peter. He said, Peter, for me to change you, for me to make you, for me to change you, for me to change you, for you, to be the stone where the church shall be built. I need first to change your name. Yes, Papa. Yes. 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 Carry a great significance in the realm of the spirit. If I can name heavens the heaven, heaven will submit to me. My God. If I can name Eve, the wife of my life. Eve shall be submissive to Adam. Man is not submissive to woman simply because it is not the woman who gave Adam that name. <laughs> Eve is submissive to Adam because it is Adam who gave Eve the name. For so your wife to respect you 
mpya wako kunyenyekea to honor you akweshini you must give a name lazima umpe jina Oh, I'm not talking about Alfonsina. No. I'm not talking about calling her Mary. <laughs> I'm not talking about calling her Estarik. No. I'm talking about calling that woman a spiritual name. When you can name her, she will submit to you. Abraham named Sarah the mother of multitude of children. And he dominated over her. Karamayasa. What name is it in your business? What name is it in yourself? What name are you carrying in your ministry? What name are you carrying in your life? Listen, listen Lisa, to me. You are desisted beautifying other people loving other people their breakthrough their miracle their financial breakthrough their testimony and you you are just seated because of the name that is on you because if that name we can change it even you you can walk even you you can enter that gate even you you can enjoy I'm going to show you how you are going to change your name I'm talking about today and the one who give me a big man is the one who is serving God be the glory I believe the message has been a blessing to your life and I believe God has brought a lot of insight into your life and I believe surely God has done something amazing in your life but I want you to be a part of this wonderful move that God is doing in our midst. And you might be there, touched by God. You have listened to this word of God. I believe this word is yours. Don't wait to call. There are numbers there. Call us. Come. If you want to encounter God, come and God shall touch you. Is there any problem that you're encountering? Be it in your business, be it in your finances, be it in your marriage, be it in your ministry, in any area. There is a God I serve and is a living God. Is about to change your life and touch you for good. We are located. We are located in Likoni Road on Road A, of Likoni Road on Road A. We are here on the services on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and the Lord is going to bless you abundantly. All the services are just there, figuring in front of you there. Please call us and be a part of this blessing, and the Lord is going to do amazing things in your life. May God bless you, and I believe this blessing shall be permanent into your life. See you. God bless you.